What We Do in the Shadows is one of my favorite comedy movies. I think it's really clever and honestly, I think it's nearly perfect. I made a video on it about a year ago that has since blown up for me. At first, I wondered why this old video was getting so many views, but then I remembered that the movie had a TV adaption that was currently airing. Now, you may be wondering that if I'm such a big fan of the movie, why I wasn't already watching the TV show. And it's because I honestly thought it would suck. Movies have been turned into TV shows before, and it's been a disaster. So, I really didn't expect much from this TV show, even if Taika Waititi was involved to some extent. Because I doubted the quality of the final product, I never really considered watching it, and pretty much completely forgot about it until now. Considering the overwhelmingly positive response to the show, I decided to finally check it out. To my surprise, the What We Do in the Shadows TV show is actually great. I was so surprised at how much I found myself laughing through every episode. Everything that I said about the movie in my video also applies to the TV show. It's clear that the team behind this TV show understood why the movie worked so well. Like the movie, the show satirizes vampires, not by trying to make them an obnoxious exaggeration, but by putting them in boring, mundane situations. The dull normalcy of their lives is juxtaposed with the fantastic reality that they are vampires. As a result, the atmosphere and tone of the show is nearly identical to that of the movie. It would have been really easy for the writers to make a cheap, uninspired knockoff that tried to make the exact same jokes for fan service while completely missing what made the show work in the first place. But this show takes the opposite approach. That isn't to say it doesn't have moments where it dips into cheap knockoff territory, but those few negative moments are far outweighed by the positives, because overall the show takes the ideas in the movie and greatly expands on them. For example, one of my favorite jokes in the movie was the virgin blood scene, and how vampires struggled to find virgins in a world where the sexual revolution has already happened. The TV show takes this idea and shows how vampires would realistically get virgins by stalking and preying on fantasy nerds who are into cosplay and roleplay. The comedy in this scenario writes itself. It leads to scenes where virgins are fooled into thinking they're about to have a sexual experience before the vampire goes in for the kill. Maybe we should just start with mouth stuff. Mm -hmm, that's okay. Yes, just mouth stuff. <sighs> it also introduces new characters, like the energy vampire. This is the guy in your workplace that gets on your nerves. He's the guy you don't want to talk to because as soon as he opens his mouth, he won't shut up about whatever uninteresting topic he's on a tangent about. And it portrays this common office stereotype as an evil vampire that feeds off of the negative energy he induces in other people. As clever as all of this expansion is, the show just does not stop. It takes these ideas even further. It doesn't just ask what would happen if the annoying guy in your workplace was an energy vampire. It also asks, what if two energy vampires were in the same workplace and had to battle it out for dominance? The results had me rolling on the floor. The show also continues to bring different aspects of vampire lore into the modern world. For example, an elder vampire visits the main cast and commands them to take over America. Again, while in medieval times this may be as simple as killing the king, in modern day they have to go to a state senate meeting and listen to long, boring conversations about policy. Council. Uh, Madam President. This is then taken further by juxtaposing the dull judicial process with fantastical threats made by the vampires. Submit and receive. Mercy. Resist and only give away. Thank you for your input. Also, if you liked the werewolves from the movie, then get ready, because they come back for blood in the show. And their battle with the vampires is so clever and so funny that I honestly don't want to spoil it for anyone who hasn't seen it. There are so many things that this show gets right, and it's because it understands that what we do in the shadows wasn't just a parody of vampire lore. It was also a satire of modern life. By using vampires to satirize nerd and office culture, the show nearly perfectly recreates the comedy of the film. Like the movie, it creates comedy by juxtaposition and through clever writing that takes advantage of the potential of its characters. I am blown away by this show and how close it was able to capture the tone and the quality of the movie. After watching only a few episodes, I was so excited that I had to talk about it in a video. If you're a fan of the movie and you haven't checked this show out because you were a doubter like me, go check it out right now because I think it'll really surprise you. 
Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go watch the other episodes. I'm Randall the Vandal, and thank you for watching. Thank you.